stupid dogs. And all you've got to do is stand still with these dogs. If you make movement, that's the only time they see it. For us, uh, just like you would fade food reward as a young puppy gets older and um, transfer to toys and then fade that, in real protection, the dancing around and the decoy feedback must be faded. People are going to be incognito. These dogs are fucking shit. I ain't going to do a hold and bark if you just sit there. They always need movement and everything. If you're sitting on a chair or something, they won't do it. There is a time for um, decoy feedback and stimulation, and there's a time for zero stimulation and allowing the dog to stimulate itself. The correct picture of defense. Too often you'll see decoys running into a dog and shouting, i.e. Nobody is going to do that. They will hide to try and protect their lives. And the dog must recognize Role playing. The variety of role play is so important. Um, it really helps to expose and educate the dog that anything and everything is possible. People will try and hide. You know, real criminals are not going to be dancing around stimulating you. You need to be stimulated independently. All of the above. The best soldiers in the world are those that are prepared and exposed and that role play. And that is the same for us when we're developing our canine soldiers. We want to expose them as much as possible. Let's see the reward item you have there. Looks like a little uh, bunny rabbit, right? Excellent. Good. And the other way? Reward there and get the nice tug. Yeah. Nice play. Great motivator. Good. Out. Over the A frame. Yeah. And again. And reward. Now you can touch the dog's body under the chin. Yeah. And besides this being a really great opportunity to um, get great engagement, build the prey drive, you're improving the grip and you're desensitizing the animal at the same time. Yeah. Pick the feet up. Getting them used to it. Um, in the later stages of protection, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Some dogs would, you know, drop a bite the minute they're, they're touched. Good. We out. Out. Good. There we go. Get her to go over this. Let's see if she'll do it. Huh? It's all about timing now. Way! Wow! Wow! Let's do that again. I'm even impressed. Huh? That's fantastic. I'm a firm believer 
that uh, while raising a young puppy, just the same way you'd raise your own child, it should be full of love, fun, and great adventure.